Hello everyone. Today we're going to uh, be kind of on the back side of our property clearing out our fence row. You can see here what the issue is. Looking down the fence row, it's pretty grown up. And really, you want your fence row to be clear for a couple of reasons. One is get trees out of it so it, does, is, it doesn't damage your fence. You don't have uh, limbs and things falling, taking your fence down. And you really want a way to walk around or even drive a tractor right around the edge of your perimeter where if you have to come back and repair any fence, that way you don't have to carry everything in. You've actually got a path that you could uh, uh, drive something, maybe a little, a small ATV or tractor or even a rod and lawnmower with a, uh, a wagon back there to, to haul your equipment. So just kind of showing you before how thick and growed up this is back in here. And we're going to start working on clearing this fence row. Uh, Andrew and David's going to be helping me. I'm going to show you what we're going to be using today. Bringing a wheelbarrow with us. We've got some, uh, some just for cutting limbs and cutting smaller things. We've got the bow saw. We've got the hatchet. And uh, I did bring a cordless reciprocating saw uh, just to kind of help cheat a little bit uh, when it's is a little bit bigger and I don't feel like uh, we don't feel like sawing it down we can use that one on on larger things uh, but for the most part we'll be using these hand tools today so we're just going to get started and uh, show you some of the progress we made uh, when later okay as you can see everything's pretty thick back through here so what we're doing is cutting down these little trees to make a path getting down these little scrubby things and we're going to go back and I've kind of got to keep going forward just a little bit to kind of figure out where we're going to go, uh, where the best path will be. And in the meantime, we're also going back to the fence line and clearing everything off the fence. But this will give us a way to keep getting back here and, and be able to get back here with our equipment or just to take a hike through the woods. As the boys continue to work, I'll show you a, another little path that David cut. He's cutting our little paths to neat places. So right off the trail, he's cut a small little walking path. And it goes back to a rather neat area. This is what we call the mule pond. It is a spring-fed pond. It's called the mule pond because... The story goes that years ago, they dug this pond uh, at this spring because they had a team of mules back here working to, uh, to give them some water. The spring is actually at the base of that tree over there. And you can see it has this uh, really uh, interesting bluish green colored water. Okay, this is where we were at at the beginning of the video and just want to show you the progress we've made so far. This was just thick woods and now you can see we've got a uh, kind of a road, a trail opened up. There's our piles of everything that we've been cutting. Nice wide trail, plenty to wide to get a tractor down. Safe enough that if you walk down it, you can see the side to side. Show you real quick. David cut a uh, little trail down here to the creek. It's really pretty down here. Go back up here to the trail. See how far we've gotten. Keeping the well, the fence row cleared out as we go. For just uh, less than three hours of work, we've gotten uh, a lot of ways. 
see when we found a good spot to cross the creek. It's nice and flat. And here to continue on. How far they've made it. And we'll uh, continue on until we reach the other side of the property. Well, we continue to uh, blaze a trail, and we're, we've normally not spent time in this part of the property, so it's kind of new to us. And we found something, we discovered something we had never seen before. This is rock, but it looks like petrified base of a tree. You can see the, the tree stumps here. So a, uh, a petrified base of like three trees together. Really, really neat. There's a lot of neat rock formations on this property, and this is just the latest one that we've discovered. So, you guys wore out? Ready for, uh, ready for a break, for a snack, and go in and start cleaning up, getting ready for supper. But that's just a typical day on the homestead. Always something to do. Well, if you like our videos, subscribe, uh, click like, the like button, and thank you for watching.